This conference will now be recorded. Hi friends, welcome back to Python GUI with TK Inter course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see button widget of a TK Inter in Python GUI. Okay. Okay, let me start that. Suppose sometimes uh, in your uh, GUI applications, you need to develop some button. You need to place some button options. Okay, like uh, OK, cancel, right? Something you, you have been seen somewhere, right? Suppose if you are going to see here, I will show that. I am going to write something. Whenever if I close that, no, right? Save changes to this title. Yes, no, cancel. These all are the buttons, no? So this is a one type of widget and that is a button widget yes no cancel something okay if you want to develop that type of button you are having button widget in your python tk interface for GUI applications right so button okay so button widget button is one of the widget okay now directly I'm going to write uh, some simple Python GUI program so that you can understand the usage of this. So let me save it first. I'm going to write this Python program for button. So let me take button uh, button for GUI.py. So anyway, first you need to require your window, main window. So from TK enter import star, then create a window, window equals to simply TK then run that window for infinite number of times so that it will be see if i save and if i run you are getting your simple window right so if you want to change again this title as we discussed in previous classes title simply i'm writing python gui whatever you want you can write it and i want to set even size for that okay uh, geo Metry. suppose 500 pixel by 300 pixel let me save it and run it yes now on the top of this I want to display some buttons okay see here I want to display buttons like no uh, okay up save cancel quit something like yes you can do that let me create a my button first button let me take button 1 equals to simply button so where you want to display on our top of our existing window main window i want to place this button and whatever the message you want to display on your button you can write that with the help of text text equals to i am going to write suppose save that is one button and i want to place it on my window you can use any one of your geometry managers like pack or grid or place suppose i am give initially i am using suppose pack same way i want to develop one more button now this button is for suppose text equals to cancel okay and b2 dot pack and i am going to create one more button suppose for uh, save cancel Fit something or okay whatever it may be you required you can do it right so button windows text equals to okay I want to display simply okay b3 dot pack other here you are getting your buttons no even you can change foreground and background color up for that by applying simply suppose I am going to write some where here background color equals to i am writing suppose green or red and foreground color i am writing suppose white so same way you can work out with all remaining buttons as well okay that's it now if you observe here you are displaying your button no if i press that button i can press it actually there is an option to click on that button if you click on that button right if you want to do some action after clicking on your button if you want to do some action on your application 
you can map each or each and every button with some commands now observe here i am going to write one command for second button so command equals to just simply i am writing fit and observe that you are getting no only for cancel button i mean for button 2 cancel i added some command that is optional you can add but what is the purpose of that if you click on that whatever the action you want to perform that command you can add it suppose if i click on cancel no what is the action you are having fit so cancel it close because we have given fit and this command you can provide some user defined or predefined suppose fit is predefined if you want to give some pre i mean user defined you can define some function let me write some function definition i am writing click me that function i am writing and i am simply printing button was click okay now instead of quit that is you predefined now i am going to give some command user defined that is nothing but simply your function name click me okay see if i run if i click on cancel no it will simply print this info observe here so here you are getting your print information on command line because print is only for command line right see you are getting if i click once again once again so if you click on this cancel button you will get each time this but button was clicked information from this print but if i do that if i click on my cancel button or any on any button if i want to display some message on your window you know right whenever if you want to display some message first of all on your window you have to use suppose label okay let me define some label first and i will map that with button so suppose i am going to define label 1 or lb1 equals to label uh, our label on windows okay and i want to do some text message initially i am giving this is a message before clicking the before click that's it okay now i am going to arrange that label yeah i will pack this after yeah before that only label one dot pack that's it okay now suppose if i run this program no you are getting some info right this is a message before click okay now if i click on cancel button otherwise let me take uh, we are having some more button no yeah this button save okay in that case if you want to call if you want to display different message just define some function user defined function let me take one more function definition uh, button one button one message i am writing here so label one dot configure reconfigure that with the help of text now this is a message after click okay that's it now i want to use this function name as a command and i want to map that with button so here in button one suppose i am using that so command is the option you have to provide command equals to your function name button one that's it something wrong what is that invalid syntax yeah see here now if i click on save button no for save only you map this command with button one function if i click on this save before that observe that this is a message before click and if i done that see this is a message after click that's it okay whenever if you click on your button if you want to perform some action inside of your program and it based, based on that action if you want to modify something on your gui you can map that with the help of command and that command is maybe predefined something like quick or user defined function so simply command is like a one function that's it okay now based on this concept i am going to write very simple 
program so that you can understand this. Suppose I am going to define some label first. Label 1 equals to I am writing label on Windows. Suppose text I am writing. Please enter your name something like enter your name. Okay. So after entering, so this label will display your text message. Now from GUI, I want to read something, whatever the entered by the user, I want to read it now. So if you want to read it, right, you need to use entry widget. Anyway, before that, I'm arranging with the help of grid my label in row zero, column zero. Okay, and I'm using entry, entry one equals to entry on Windows, that's it. And I want to arrange this entry one dot. I'm using grid in the first row itself. Second column, I want to place it. That means column one. Okay. Now I am using button. Okay. So see, as of now, if I run this program, no, you are getting enter your name. You have to enter something here. So here I want to display or in second row, whatever it may be. I want to display one button. And I want to press that button after entering my name. And after that, I want to change something. Okay. Now, observe here, I'm going to define button. Button 1 equals to B-U-T-T-O-N. On Windows, right? On Windows, I want to write some text. Click me. Okay. Then, command equals to after entry i want to define some function i will define that so before that b1 dot uh, grid row let me define this in row 0 and column equals to 2 and here i want to do one thing that is definition after enter or after entry i will write entry i will change this as well here entry that's it now after entry i want I, I want to change my label label one dot configure reconfiguring this is whatever the text previously we are having for your label We save your name. That's it. Okay. Okay. B one grid row equals to zero. Yeah, I have given. We'll stop there. Yes. See, first of all, this is for label. No, you are getting this enter your name because of label, and this field entry field you are getting because of entry label, and this is a button because of button label you are button widget you are getting this. Let me write something. Name I am writing suppose Python GUI. Okay, now I am going to click it after writing that. See here, we saved your name. That's it. So in this way, you can club your label, uh, your entry with your button. So if you want to create more number of buttons on your window, you just use button more number of button widget. Okay. So here I use Grid Geometry Manager to rearrange. In, I want to arrange all widget in a 0th row. Okay, that's why I'm using grid. That's it. If you use packet, I mean pack, it will arrange vertically or horizontally somewhere here or somewhere here, right? So that's it. Okay, guys. So this is simply about your button widget. So mostly uh, you will use this button widget. See, suppose I have given something here. If I close this now, it is asking, right? Say yes, no, cancel, something. So this is first of all label message. Okay, and then you are providing some buttons. Based on these buttons, whatever the action you want to do inside of a program, you have to map that button command with whatever the action you want to perform. That is nothing but like this. See, command equals to. So if I click on this button, so whatever the action I want to perform in the background, 
yes i can map that with the help of command option that's it okay okay guys uh, thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get notifications whenever we post some new videos okay if you have any queries you can post as a comments on the below of this video or you can also drop a mail to this to python at of gmail.com okay don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye